So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Zach Garcia. Uh, today I'm going to be discussing my project, which is titled uh, Federated Vox to Vox Scan for MRI Segmentation. Uh, so starting off with the motivation behind the project, um, the use of deep learning for automatic MRI segmentation uh, is able to improve both treatment uh, and diagnosis of multiple sclerosis and glioma patients. Um, but with this, uh, patient data is frequently privacy sensitive. Uh, for this reason, uh, federated learning methods are currently being uh, researched and developed that make it possible to train these networks while still preserving data privacy. Um, and while looking through this research, um, I was only able to find a couple of cases where GANs were used in federated learning environments. Um, and for this reason, I thought it would be uh, interesting to gather more data on the performance of GANs in federated learning environments. Uh, so moving on to the problem statement, um, automatic MRI segmentation uh, is able to improve disease treatment, uh, but at the same time, patient data needs to be kept private. Uh, for this reason, the goal of this project is to implement federated training of the box-to-box -box 3D segmentation GAN, uh, and then train it on both the BRATS21 and SHIFTS 2.0 data sets. Um, with this implementation, uh, the hope is that more data can be collected on GAN performance uh, in federated learning environments. Um, and then additionally, the network uh, trained from this project um, can aid in better diagnosis and treatment of brain diseases. Uh, so to give some background on the vox to vox architecture, um, vox to vox is a 3D adaptation of the pix to pix scan, uh, which is used for image to image translation. Um, and in this case for vox to vox, it's used for voxel to voxel translation. Um, and so what this network consists of is a 3D unit, which is paired with an adversarial discriminator that uses the patch GAN architecture. Um, and for this project, um, the network input is a 128 by 128 by 128 MRI patch with three channels. Uh, and these three channels consist of the different types of MRI scans. Um, to calculate overall loss for the network, um, the discriminative loss and generative loss are summed together, uh, with the generative loss being multiplied by constant alpha. Um, and this network was implemented using the PyTorch library for this project. Uh, so moving on to the uh, federated training methodology. Um, to accomplish this, uh, the Flower library is mainly used, um, and what Flower provides is a federated learning framework for Python. Um, Flower provides you with the uh, base classes that allow you to implement uh, custom federated learning clients uh, and servers. Um, for this project, a custom client training loop is uh, implemented. Um, using the PyTorch box to box scan. Um, and this is done by extending Flower's uh, base client class. Um, and then additionally, a server is instantiated, which uses Flower's implementation of the Fed average algorithm to average out model weights. Um, and so throughout training, um, typically in federated learning, um, you're just sharing network weights for one network. Uh, but throughout training of this particular network, uh, both the generator and discriminator weights are shared. Um, so the diagram to the right um, depicts the overall training process. Um, initially, the server sends out the same weight of initial weights um, to the three clients that were used in this project. Um, after that, each of the three clients uh, trains for one local epoch on the data. Um, and then sends updated weights back to the server. Um, at this point, the server is able to perform federated averaging um, and combine those weights into one global generator and one global discriminator. Um, and at that point, those uh, global network weights are redistributed out to all three clients. Um, so up to this point in the project, uh, two experiments have been completed. 
Uh, the first of these experiments is centralized training on the BRATS21 data set. Um, and for this experiment, the network was trained for a total of 200 epochs with an alpha value of five. Um, both the discriminator and generator used the Atom W optimizer with the same set of hyperparameters. Uh, for this experiment, 80% of the data was randomly sampled for training and then 20% for validation. Uh, and to measure network performance, the uh, weighted dice loss is calculated um, based on frequency of the different segmentation classes. Uh, and the lowest validation dice loss achieved in this experiment was 0 0.4224. Um, and looking at the results from this experiment, um, it appears that the network may have benefited from additional epochs of training um, or possibly an increase to the learning rate. Um, here's some qualitative results from that uh, first experiment. Um, the network was able to uh, somewhat accurately pr predict uh, all three classes. Um, moving on to the, ex the second experiment, um, this involved the federated training of this network on the BRATS21 data set. Um, for this experiment, three clients were configured um, in one server and 100 total rounds of training were performed. Um, the same hyperparameter values as experiment one were used. Um, and so for this experiment, 30% um, of the data was randomly sampled um, and then distributed to each client. Uh, and then the 10% of data that was left over was kept server side for global model evaluation. Um, and again, looking at these results, um, it looks like the network uh, could have benefited from additional rounds of training. Um, and then looking at the qualitative results now, um, the network is um, able to somewhat accurately predict one segmentation class, um, but is completely lacking in the other two classes. Um, so the experiments uh, that are still remaining um, are some additional training rounds for the first two sets of experiments. Um, with these additional training rounds, um, I hope to achieve better results um, than what was achieved previously. Um, and then once this is completed, um, additional rounds of centralized and federated training can be conducted on the shifts MS lesion data set. And with that, here's a list of references. And are there any questions? 